Hello, happy Tuesday. As you can see, it's very sunny here today, but it is also very, very windy. How is everybody doing today? I am awesome. It's been a really great day. Well, it's always a good day. You know, even the days that aren't so good, they always end up being good because it's all about mindset and it's all about putting ourselves where we need to be in our mind, in our bodies, and just allowing. I wanted to talk about labeling, labeling ourselves. You know, growing up, I know my parents always try to put me in a box and tell me what I was and try to convince me of what I was. And I always knew that I didn't fit in that box. But when I tried to really become who I was, I'd get called crazy or I'd get called, you know, stupid for wanting to follow my own path. And when we, when we over identify as something, when we put labels on ourselves as something or someone, or it's like, this is our job, this is our, you know, this is who we are as a person, he, she, it, they, whatever. And no, you know, I'm not being condescending towards anybody who needs to identify as something because that's where you are consciously. And we're all on different, different levels, different strains of consciousness and nothing is good. Nothing is better than the other. Nothing's not good. It just all is. Everything is. When we realize that we don't have to identify as anything. I know when I first started this, this process of healing, people would be like, well, maybe you're a witch. Maybe you're this. And I'm like, no, I'm not. And I've never identified. Like, I've never been able to be put into a box. And that's just my soul. But our souls are all like that, where a lot of us don't realize, you know, we're tuned into these, you know, frequencies of consciousness that'll try to label us and they'll try to say, you're this, so you have to be this way and you have to do things like this. And it's dogma, it's all societal dogma. When really we're just supposed to be free. You know, we're just supposed to be these free spirits. Yes, there's certain times where you have to like do things to, you know, like I'm a mom, I have to take care of my kids and you know, I have to work, but I don't have to, I, I do it because I love it. And I do things because I love them where before I do things because it was the label. I had to do them. I had to be a mom. So I do this and this and this. Now I switch that and I make sure what I'm doing is from a place of love and not out of a place of label and having to be that way. So just know that you don't have to label yourselves. You don't have to fit into any box that society wants you to. You don't need to, what you need to do is be true to your own soul frequency. What you need to do is just be you. You don't have to look for the next thing to label yourself as. You don't have to be a certain way. You need to be you. How boring would the world be if we were all the same? If we were all labeled the same way, if we all followed the same rules, the same set of ideals. It would be very, very boring. We'd be a bunch of lemmings walking around on this earth plane, like not knowing what to do. There'd be no change. There'd be no ascension. There'd be no anything going on. It would just be monotony day in and day out. So building on that, allow yourself to let go of control once in a while and allow yourself change to come into your life and accept it. So many of us shut ourselves off from change. We shut ourselves off, we build this armor around ourselves and we don't allow what we're seeking to come to us. You know, we can set these intentions as much as we want, but if we're not open to receive them because we put ourselves in this box where we're broken or we're, you know, we're a survivor, or we're this, you're not gonna welcome in anything new. You're not gonna, you're gonna welcome in previous experiences. You're gonna get stuck on that karmic cycle and you're gonna continue doing the same thing that you've been doing until you, catapult out of that until you unidentify is what you've identified with your whole life reprogramming that brain reprogramming those linguistics the way you speak to yourself not having to label yourself and i will use the word label over and over not having to label yourself is so freeing just being you who are you yes you may have a name like i'm becky but that's not who i am I am this soul, I am this free spirit, and these aren't labels. I am, I am, you know, think of yourself on the soul level. I am me, I am in touch with the all. I am in touch with mother earth. I do what makes me happy while serving others around me at my highest good to help spread happiness and joy around. I'm not labeling it, you know, we, we get into these places where it was like, I remember when I started, I'm like, I have to have this label of what I am. You know, am I a healer? Am I an alchemist? What am I doing? Everybody's got these labels. And I'm like, I can't fit 
we can't fit in those boxes because we all have these unique gifts. We are all unique beings. So how can a societal label be who we are? You know, take that with a grain of salt. You know, when society wants to label you, when your family wants to label you, when life wants to label you, take a step back and understand that you're divinely you and you're perfect the way you are right now. And you don't need a label. You just need to be in touch with your soul and your heart and speak your truth. And I can keep going and going. I'm going to pull a card though. I'm going to pull a card for us today. So spirit, what do we need? What do we need to see? I am harmony. It's beautiful. It says, I do not get involved in the sadness and darkness around me, for it does not belong to me. If there's anger, oppression, I push it aside. I center myself and create a protective bubble around me. In my bubble, I live in the light. I live in harmony. And being true to who you are and in alignment is the truest form of harmony you can have with yourself, with your higher self, with your soul. It's allowing it all to come in. It's just being one with the universe, being in harmony, being in resonance, as above, so below, as within, so without. Allow it and do one favor for me today if you find yourself labeling your if you find you labeling yourself as something whether you've done something wrong and you're like oh i'm stupid or i lied and this just cut it out cut the judgment give yourself a little more love and forgiveness and just know you're you there doesn't need to be a label on that you are you and what you're seeking will find you when you release the resistance and you release the labels i love you have an amazing day